Hey guys, in this tutorial you will learn how to create a Minecraft character like the zombie Minecraft character in Blender. This is a Blender tutorial for totally beginners so you can just follow along and create a Minecraft character of your own. You can follow along with my input right here and the first thing that we are going to do is to set up our workspace. We don't need the camera and the light from Blender, I will use this from a game engine. And then I will also delete this default cube just to add it later on back again. They're just the guy I am. So. In front view, you can also use this one right here, or numpad1. I will add a reference image, and you can just follow along with this tutorial without reference image, but I will use this. The one I used is right here from image reference. Then I will go to my map that I create. You can create a map too for this one. And I find this on Google Images, namely Minecraft Zombie Texture. When you find something for Blender and you add texture to it, you can find some pretty neat textures. I will use one with a front, back and side view. That's the one that I want. So we can also scale this one up a bit and I move it into place. I'll put his feet right on this right line and his middle in the blue line and also scale this up so I can cover two meters. Something like this should do. A bit smaller maybe about this should work. You can also use a measure tape right here, but this should do, this is fine. And then I also need the reference image to duplicate it on the, on the back side right here, I mean on the side view. So to do that, shift D, right click, then I'm going to R for rotate and then Z to rotate them Z axis. And I use 90 degrees for this one. And move this up a bit on the Y, I mean on the X, so GX. So with one on my numpad, okay, this one is lined up good. Three on my numpad, G, Y. And we're also going to drag the side view right here. And I'm back to my front view. Now we can start modeling. To do that, Shift A, Mesh, and then Cube. Here's our cube again. I deleted it earlier because then I had more room for my reference images. GZ to move it into place. You can scale it a bit. You can also move this one with GX a bit if you need to. Then we are going to add the body. So Shift A for a new cube. Scale this one down already. Then GZ. Then SZ to scale it in the Z axis. GZ again. And now with for the arms, Shift A, go to another cube, scale it in. Then with G, move it into place, GZ, SZ to scale in the Z axis. Then with Shift D, X, I can duplicate this on the X axis. I'll use also this one for the leg, so Shift D once again, move it in the leg position and make it a bit bigger with SZ to scale in the Z axis, GZ, Shift D to duplicate it, X on the X axis. And right now, this is the basic outlook of a Minecraft character. So, but it's a bit too blocky. So, to reference it to this one, I'm going to select this one with Shift. So now I have the arm and the torso. With three on my numpad, I go in the side view. Then with S with scale, I can see how much I need to scale. So, in order to do that, hit S and then Y. And I can really scale in the Y axis. I can also make my arms a bit thicker if I want to. So S Y again. And this should do a little bit smaller than the body. Okay, that looks good. Also the same for the legs. So shift click on both legs, three, S Y and G Y a bit. Okay, and now when I hit my reference image, I can click on this eye icon. And right now you can see I modeled a basic character in Blender of a Minecraft zombie. Now, right now I have loose parts, so I have to connect this one up. With Shift Select, I select these five objects, then Ctrl J to join them, and right now I have one joined. To make my character really come alive, we had to have some textures. So how do you do that? Go to Material, click New Material. And instead of a base color, we're going to hit this little sphere right here and go to image texture. Open one up. 
And I'm going to use the same one that I used as my reference image for this project. And when I hit here on the viewport shading, you can see there's some texture applied, but there's a big mistake, namely, it is not in the place that I wanted to go. So this is where UV unwrapping comes into place. So go to UV editing. Now with everything selected with A, it's already selected in my view right here. You can go hit U, then smart UV project. Hit OK. And right now you can see the lines right here. So hit one on your numpad. Let's do the head first. So you can also see these options right here. With scrolling I can go back and forth. I will leave this as the viewport shading once again. And here I select the faces so I can click the different faces. And you can also see while I do this, these ones on the UV sides also move. So with the same keys with G to grab and then move around or S to scale, I can move these vertices around. So for example, with the head, I can select this one and with G, I can just move this into place and the vertices. And now you can also see the head is turned, so with R to rotate it, you can just move it into place. Now this is the quick and dirty way, you can really take your time with this to perfect this. Now you can also see that I do this individually, but you can also link them up with the UV link selection, so when I hit something here, I already have this selected here. But I like to do this separately so I have more of an overview, just your preference what you like. So let's continue with the head. Select this face for the side, so this is why we have a side view. Once again I'm going to do this all really fast, you can take your time for it. Then for the back side. The side right here. And there is no top side, so we have to be creative. Select this one here, and I also use the back side as the top side. Now make sure you don't go too far, because that will create a white line. So go into your, you can also zoom in and out to make it more perfect. Now for the body, go to here, drag it on the front side of the body right there. And select this one in the body right here. Now. If this, you can see this is not rotated properly, so you can select all these vertices again, then rotate it, scale it up to see it better, how it should be rotated, and now you can see it should be like this in a way, then you can scale it once again, and with G you can move these vertices around to make it really fit. Okay, now for the back side. Select these vertices right here, and you can rotate it. And you can see it has to be rotated like this. Once again, grab the vertices with G and grab them in the right location. This should do. Yes, and then for the legs, let's do the legs first. So there's the front left leg. Oh, you can also see that this is an error. I don't want to grab in here. I want to select this window and then grab in there. So this should do. Then the, this one is turned. Sorry, so I have to rotate this again. And now you can see it is turned once more. And this is the way that we want it. So. It's a bit trial and error to get this right on the first try. We're also going to do this for this leg. So, select right here, G. So, let's see the direction. Okay, this direction I want to go. So, this is why I make this bigger, so I can see where the foot goes. Then G, move this into place. And something like this should do fine. And now you can really see it more coming alive, our zombie character. So let's go to the back side of the leg. Rotate it again. Okay, and this is correct. 
Once again, guys, really take your time for this. I do this quick and dirty way. Once again, oh, once again, this error. I have to be in here. I'll rotate it. Like this. I think by now you get the hang of it. So you can also try for yourself. And when you get stuck, you can go back to the video right here. So now the side of the leg, I will put over here. Sometimes it's hard to see, so once again, I will scale this one up a bit. Then this side. It seems everything is rotated, so it's not made too easy for us right here. Okay, make sure you don't have white outlines right here. So, right now we have to do the arms. So, select this face of this arm. And also just resume for the sides. Now, and for these arms, this really doesn't matter as much for me, so I will just drag them anyway, it looks good. Now, this is not a perfect UV map, there will be so many critic characters over here, but it's just the basic way to do this. And then once again, this face. And then finally this one. And right now you can see we have a basic Minecraft character like the zombie one. And next videos we will make this one walk and animate and rig him and put him in the game engine. So I hope you look forward to this one and I hope this one helped.